Happy Frosted Friday, friends. We're here today with those tips, tricks, and tiny secrets on how to make one of the most amazing pies you've ever tasted. Now, tomorrow begins National Peanut Butter Month, and I am so excited to show you how to create a no-bake peanut butter pie that will be so delicious you'll be licking your fingers. So let's get started. Now one of the best things about this pie is the complimentary layer that we add to it. I've started off here with a homemade graham cracker crust, and I'm going to put a thin layer of chocolate right at the bottom. Now, I've got to make a chocolate that's smooth enough in texture to add to that peanut butter mousse that I'm going to put at the top. So my list of ingredients for that layer are 2 thirds of a cup of heavy cream, I've got 1 and a third cup of chocolate chips, 1 teaspoon vanilla extract, smells fabulous and two tablespoons of corn syrup. I'm gonna put all of them together in this bowl here, and then I'm going to place them in the microwave for three minutes. After three minutes in the microwave, our yummy mixture is ready to stir. So I'm gonna use my nifty whisk and keep on moving it until it's nice and smooth and ready to fit in our pie crust. Alright, now that all of our components are sweetly mixed together, I'm going to pour a nice thin layer over this graham cracker crust. Now be sure that you save some off to the side for that really snazzy topping we're going to put on top. Alright, and into the ice box we go for 10 minutes. Now that we're waiting on that, we're gonna get started on the star of our show for today, the peanut butter mousse that goes on top of that delicious pie. So, I've got here with me 2 thirds of a cup of heavy cream. I've got one cup of peanut butter chips and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna mix all of these together, starting with my heavy cream, then my peanut butter chips, and last but not least, my fabulous vanilla. I'm going to put these in the microwave in 15 second increments just to ensure that it doesn't burn. And I want all of these flavors to marry together nicely so that they mix together so I can add the second part to it. Now that our ingredients are warm, I'm going to use my nifty spatula to mix it all together until it forms a smooth, creamy texture. Next, I'm going to gently whisk in two tablespoons of smooth, creamy peanut butter right into my mixture. Then I'm going to let that cool for a few moments to the side. In this bowl here, I have one cup of heavy cream. I'm going to whisk it up with two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and this is going to give us that really creamy texture for our mousse. Now here's where you get to show off your baking skills. I'm going to use two hands at once. First by scooping the sides of this tasty heavy cream mixture and taking a scoop of the peanut butter mixture, a little bit at a time, and putting it right into this mixture. In fact, I'm gonna fold it in nice and smoothly. A little bit of this, a little bit of folding. And repeat until your mixture is completely mixed one to the other. across 
the other side. They're going to create a beautiful pattern. Friday.